Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can insert and delete merge fields in your mail merge publications as the need arises. This can occur if you have fields in your publication that no longer contain relevant data, or if you collect new data that needs to be included in the publication. To insert a new merge field, place your insertion mark at the place within the text box, merge field, or other text containing shape where you want the merge field to be inserted. Click the Insert Merge Field drop-down button in the right and Insert Fields button group on the Mailings tab within the ribbon. Then select the name of the field that you want to insert into your publication from the button's drop-down list of field name choices. The merge field will be inserted into the text containing shape at the position that you indicated. Note that if you had no shape within your publication page, then Publisher will add a merge field text box into which it will place the merge field data. Note that if you are performing a simple mailing and you are using a data source with address information, you may prefer to use an address block or greeting line that is created entirely by a Publisher. This just speeds up the placement of multiple merge fields in a publication. However, for this feature to work effectively, you should ensure that the field names in your data source are matched to the fields available in Publisher. If you use the data source created in Publisher, then this will be the case. However, if using an external data source, such as a list in an Excel spreadsheet, then you may first need to match the field names in Publisher to the field names in your list before you can effectively use either the address block or the greeting line buttons that appear within the Write and Insert Fields button group on the Mailings tab in the ribbon. To match your fields in your data source with Publisher, click either the Address Block or Greeting Line buttons that appear in the Write and Insert Fields button group on the Mailings tab in the ribbon. Then click the Match Fields button in either dialog box. This will open the Match Fields dialog box. Here you can identify which field in your data source matches each piece of information that Publisher may need by selecting the name of the data source field from the drop-down menu for each type of data that is shown. If the field is unavailable, simply leave it set at Not Matched. Once you have matched the data source in Publisher, click the OK button to set it. If you have matched your data fields to Publisher, or if you are simply using the default list provided when you create a data source in Publisher, you can click the Address Block button in the Write and Insert Fields button group on the Mailings tab to open the Insert Address Block dialog box. Here you will decide which elements you want to include in the address block by checking or clearing the checkboxes that appear in the Specify Address Elements section. Once you are finished, click the OK button to insert the address block. Likewise, you can click the Greeting Line button in the Write and Insert Fields button group on the Mailings tab in the ribbon to open the Insert Greeting Line dialog box. In this dialog box, you will use the drop-down buttons that are available to set the appearance of the greeting line field for your publication. You can also set what to insert into the greeting line field if the record that you are merging doesn't have a valid recipient name. Once you are done, you would simply click the OK button to insert a standard greeting line into your merge publication. To remove a merge field from your publication, select the entire merge field that you want to delete. If you have a single text containing shape with multiple merge fields inside of it, click the merge field to delete inside of the text containing shape to select it first. Once the field has been selected, press the delete key on your keyboard. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.